Now we'll be showing you how to create um, timesheets based off of um, these current um, project planning tasks here. Um, so if I want to create a timesheet for um, this demolition here, I'm just going to open those project planning lines and um, I want to create a timesheet for, um, let's say Terry wants to create his, his timesheet to record his actual um, time spent on this specific project task here. Um, to do that, we're just going to go ahead and navigate to the resource card. And then I'm just going to open Terry up down here. A few things to note here. Um, you will have to toggle on this use timesheet here. And then um, we're going to specify the timesheet owner. I'm just going to uh, select myself in this case here. And then timesheet approver. Um, so whoever, whoever is approving that timesheet. All right. And then to create that um, timesheet, we're just going to come up here under Home and then select Create Timesheet. You'll see we have a few options here. So we have our starting date. Um, so this is going to specify when we want that week to start um, for that specific timesheet. I'm just going to select uh, July 15th in this case. And then we can also specify the number of weeks uh, we're looking to create that timesheet for and then um, create lines from project planning lines. So if we want, if we keep this toggled on, we can um, create lines based off of um, our project planning lines here. I'm just going to go ahead and select OK here, and then it's going to prompt me with, um, it's going to tell me that one timesheet has been created. I'm just going to hit OK here, and then I'm going to navigate back to my home screen here and I have timesheets selected under my bookmark here. And you'll see we have, um, this is going to show us a list of all the timesheets currently created in the system. Um, this first one here is going to be the one we just created for Terry here. Uh, it's going to um, specify that start date we selected, and then um, the total amount of that timesheet what's currently open, what's been submitted, and then also what has been approved versus rejected. I'm just going to go ahead and open um, this timesheet here. And then you'll see we have um, two lines that populated here for us, um, demolition and then reclaim bricks. So this is what um, Terry has been assigned to for this specific uh, project and um, that specific um, project task here. All right, so now we are going to, um, we can specify the amount of hours that Terry has spent on these specific jobs. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in this timesheet here. Once we've filled in the timesheet, we do have the ability to um, add any type of comments to these lines, and then we can also add comments to this um, to the timesheet itself. So from here, I'm just going to um, select Submit and Submit uh, my timesheet, and then um, Do you want to submit open lines? I'm going to just say Yes here, and then. I'm just going to pull over this other screen here, and this is where I'm going to show you um, where I'm going to submit that timesheet. And I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm going to use these uh, this tile down here. And it says timesheet to approve, and I have currently one to approve here. And uh, this is going to show us that one we just submitted for Terry. So I can go ahead and open this. I can um, see uh, what the um, timesheet was submitted for, so it's going to be that um, demolition for this specific project uh, related to this specific project test number. And then um, if he specified whether this is chargeable or not, and then how many hours spent on that specific task. All right, so from here I'm just going to uh, approve this timesheet, and then I'm just going to hit yes here. Alright, so once your timesheet has been approved, 
I'm going to go ahead and back out of here and I'm just going to give my screen a refresh just to show you how those hours were um, shown here. So I have total amount of 30. Um, I did previously have 30 submitted here. Um, once that timesheet was approved, uh, those 30 hours were um, translated over here. All right, so now once that timesheet has been posted, we're going to create, um, we're going to post this, the hours spent um, to that specific project. So I'm going to go under project and then I'm going to go to my project journals and then I'm going to open this default one right here. Now we do have the option to um, suggest lines from timesheets submitted and I'm going to use this function here so we can specify a starting date and an ending date. So this is going to pull um, anything we've specified within this these filters here. So I'm going to switch um, these filters here to um, those dates and then I'm going to filter my resource number to Terry. And then um, I'm going to switch my job to um, my office number one remodel. And you also have the ability to focus down on a specific um, project task. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave this blank. Now I'm going to select OK. And then you'll see those um, lines were populated for us based off of the timesheet Terry had posted here. Um, we have that project and then the project task number. Uh, additionally, we have the hours, um, hours spent. And then from here, we can adjust uh, the unit cost um, and total cost here. All right, and then under line type, this is where we can specify whether it's budget billable, um, both budget and billable. Um, here, I'm just going to select both budget and billable. And then I'm just going to give these lines a document number. All right, from here, I can just go ahead and post these lines here. And then I'm just going to say yes and OK. Now I'm going to get navigate back to that project um, to show you how the um, budget versus actual is going to look here. So here you can see under the demolition and reclaim bricks here, we have our um, budgeted of 3000 and then our um, reclaim bricks of this amount here. Um, this is what we specified as um, what we are expected to bill for this um, task number. Under this actual cost is what we have posted for um, the time Terry actually spent on this project task. And that's a bit of an overview of how to process the timesheets and um, how to view them on the project card.